Hello guys, today I'll show you guys um, some teleportation techniques that um, I just found out. I've been experimenting inside Unreal Engine and I found four techniques that you guys can use inside your game. So first way, um, first technique I'll show you guys is, so when we press a key, our character will move, will teleport to this object right here. No matter where he is in the scene. So what you want to first do is we're going to uh, we select our 3D character first, of course. Then we click on blueprints and open level blueprint. Now down here, we'll right click and uh, we'll type teleport. Now if you have your character selected, he will automatically become the target for your teleportation. Then I'll press F and bring in the F key. So when this key is pressed, teleport will occur on our 3D character. Now we have we want to choose a, a um, destination location where our character will actually go to. So um, I'll select this cube right here, then we'll go back into our scene, into our um, known node area. We'll uh, right click and create a reference to cube mesh. From here we'll drag out a node and we'll type get actor location. And then we'll bring in this. And now uh, for the return value, we connect this to the destination location. Once you've done that, it's, it's really simple and easy. We'll compile and then we'll minimize this. Now we'll click on play. So now, no matter where you are, if you press F, your character will teleport to the cube. Even mid-air, your character will still teleport to the cube. So this is the first technique and now I'll show you guys the second technique. Now for the second technique I'll show you guys is when our character overlaps something we want uh, we will choose the character will teleport to where we want him to teleport so for this technique what i'll do is uh, i'll drag in a trigger volume from uh, from my modes you guys can obviously go to window and modes if you guys can't find it we'll drag in the trigger box right here now we'll select the trigger box make sure it's selected we'll go to blueprints open level blueprints we still have our old one we can just leave that we'll right click in here and we'll type on actor begin overlap now when we bring this in our trigger volume is already um, attached to this so now we'll go back we'll select our 3d character and we'll right click here and type teleport and now our third person character is the target for this teleport and we'll connect this on actor begin overlap right here now once again we'll choose our destination location you guys can choose a manual location, you guys can type the values. For this, I will use this box. We'll go back into our uh, blueprint now. And I'll right click here and create reference to cube mesh. From here again, I'll do get actor location. Once we've done that, we'll connect the return value to our destination location. And now we will compile this and minimize. Now, if you click play, so now what will happen is if you walk through this trigger box, our character will spawn back here. Now you guys can use something like this to um, keep the character from going up the stairs until the objectives have been completed in this particular area. And now I will show you guys the third technique I found. Now uh, for the third technique, uh, what we can do is we will go to our particles. I'm using the, uh, the starter content ones. We'll drag out one of the particles right here. Okay. So now what we will do is, uh, we will select this particle right here. We'll go into blueprints again and then open level blueprints. We'll leave these two. We'll right click here and then type teleport. So now our target is the particle system. And then we will add. We'll press uh, H. So we'll use the H key for this. And then when it's pressed, our target, which is a particle system, We'll teleport, I'll choose the cube again for this example and same thing again, right click create reference to cube mesh and then get actor location. And then we'll connect this to our destination location. So in this case, when we press the key H, our particle system should teleport to that cube. So let's see, we press H and our particle system as you guys can see that little thing beneath it, it has gone inside the cube right here. So I don't know how you guys can use this, but maybe some of you um, some of you guys can maybe work out some way you can uh, use this and it'll be useful for you guys. Now we'll show you the, uh, the fourth technique 
and it's, it's the one I like the most and I'm most impressed with. So let's get on with it. Now then, for this fold technique, I really like this. I think um, it took me a long time to figure this out and I hope you guys find this useful. So what we'll do is, in the uh, third person example, um, in, the, uh, in the template, we will go to, we will find our, we go to content, we'll go to third person BP and we'll open the blueprint and then we open the third person character blueprint. So down here we'll go to the viewport and down here I will drag in, we'll go to add component and I'll add, um, I'll, I'll just add a sphere and I'll move the sphere straight down from our character. I'll move this slightly closer so we don't want our character um, teleporting outside the map so and then I will scale this down pressing R really small so it's hardly you can hardly see it all right once I've done that now what I'll do is I'll go into our event graph I'll right here I'll I'll, uh, I'll click on our sphere then I'll drag this in drag in our sphere right here now we will press uh, right click and then type teleport. Now our target is self which is our character and then uh, for destination location I will drag a bar out from here and I'll type get actor location or get location sorry so get world location. Now we will connect the return value to our destination location and then I'll bring this up again and I'll type get rotation so go get world rotation and I'll connect this rotation right here and then we'll add a key this time I'll use a G key and then when it's pressed we'll click on teleport I won't tell you what it does so you guys will just see it for yourself now if we compile this and we press play so now if we just stand here now when we press G our character our character will teleport forwards now, uh, if you want the character to teleport to the back or to the side, you guys can uh, place the cube behind you and then uh, you guys will um, teleport behind. I think you guys can use this for uh, something basically for um, your game, just teleporting forwards. Or uh, you guys can teleport backwards to simulate um, going back in time to dodge um, damage, which could be uh, one of your um, abilities for your character. So these are the four uh, um, teleporting techniques I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys find this useful. And um, I'll be doing, uh, as I said, I'll be doing the uh, beginner series for um, Unreal Engine and Blender. So keep, keep a lookout for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching.